Well, I've been really wanting to do a zebra project and my little printer stopped printing so I can't do the inkjet transfer onto this piece of juniper, but I can still glue it on. I put some blue tape on there and then I glued it on and I'm just gonna route it through the paper. Ah, I know, I know, but I really wanna do it. And so I'm gonna do that today, hopefully. Ah! So I routered all of the black areas on the zebra. I removed all the paper and the blue tape. And I used a chisel to help peel up some of the tape, then brushed it off. Now I'm gonna go back over it again and I'm gonna make it deeper, a lot deeper. The reason I am making it deeper is because I want to use crayons to fill in the routered areas and then melt them. I actually tried this last summer and it was a total flop. I'm thinking deeper voids that allow more crayon to melt into may help. Here's the one from last summer. What happened is the crayon went everywhere and when I sanded it, the crayon melted and it made quite a mess. But I kept on sanding it and it did look better, but I kept working on it and I kept messing it up until finally I ruined it. So I gave up, but then as I thought about it over this past year, I just really wanted to try it again. The color scheme for this one is going from red at the nose to orange and yellow at the mane. I colored in the areas just a little bit so I would know where the color was gonna go and then I started breaking up the crayons and putting chunks into the areas. The heat gun, it, it ends up blowing the crayon pieces all over the place but having the deeper routed areas helps with that a lot. But it still blows a little bit until it starts to melt. Last time I put all of the crayons into the areas and then I used the heat gun and that is what made such a mess. So this time I'm putting in the crayon, then heating a small area and doing it again and again and again. Then I got out my wood burner and with a straight tip, I melted some pieces that were being stubborn and wouldn't melt. And that worked really well. One thing though is the crayon didn't melt even or look pretty. Even though I made the voids deeper, I thought it would work better, but it still looked chunky and it didn't look smooth like I was hoping. But I kept on working on it until I had all of it filled with the colors that I wanted. And it did get messy because the crayons did flow over the voids, um, so I scraped off the excess with a metal scraper. And then I remembered another problem that I had last summer with the project. And that is that the crayon stains the wood. So now my white areas were stained with unpleasantness. But I kept going and sanded everything and then used gray stain around the outside. I tell you, this project, it just never really went well at any point. So after I stained this, I forgot that stain doesn't work well on juniper wood. So I sanded that down and I painted over the top of that with a purple fading into blue acrylic paint. And then I lightly sanded the outside edges of that. Then I put a layer of epoxy over the top and I thought maybe tinting the epoxy would hide the crayon stained white areas. So I put some pink acrylic in the epoxy and I poured that over the top of the epoxy I already had on there. And that just made things worse. When it was all set up, I added a verse to the back and I picked Psalm 139 14, which says, I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. And I thought that was pretty cool for a zebra because they are pretty amazing. Well, zebra's done. And I think that I shouldn't have put the pink tint in the epoxy because I wanted the pink to go over where this white is. And instead it washed out the yellows and the oranges and the reds. 
and made it more pink. So that's kind of a bummer. Do I like it? I don't know. I like the back. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run this through the planer. So I planed it down. Then I drew some doodle type shapes and stuff all over the white areas. Then used the wood burner and burned in all the doodles. And I used my coal wood burner for most of it and my regular little wood burner for some of it too. Then I drew bigger doodles around the zebra and wood burned those in too. Then I fixed one area with the router and I placed some dark walnut Danish oil over everything. Which wasn't dark enough, and the spot I routered looked obvious, so I routered out a few doodles around the zebra to make it all blend in. Then I went over all of that with ebony stain, and finally put epoxy over the top of that. Here is the final zebra. I'm done. I've worked on this project so much that even though it's still not great, I like it a lot better than I did. I think the epoxy resin looks really pretty with the really dark, which is not black, but it almost looks black. I want it to be black and it's so smooth. So what I do like about this zebra is I like the little doodles that I did on the white part and then I did it on the black part too and you can't see it so much now but it's there <laughs> and then I like the crayon although the crayon isn't as cool as I thought it was going to be but it's still crayon in there so thanks for joining me for this one, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye!